Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet Channel. Today we got another Trash Fisher treasure for you. And this is a weird one. Y'all stay tuned. Well, you might be able to see on the back of the Backwoods Gourmet Mobile. We've got the boat. We got the boat towing back there. Okay. So we're headed to the coast. And we want to do, do a catch, clean, and cook for you today. Just don't know what it's going to be yet. So I haven't been uh, saltwater fishing for a while. Have no idea what's biting. I've heard a few things on uh, online uh, flounder and mullet run starting. Uh, this time of the year, first part of, uh, well, it's really end of summer here for us, but end of September is uh, usually pretty good saltwater fishing. So we're headed that way. It's about a hour and 10 minute drive. We'll check back in with you. These causeways uh, tend to concentrate fish because they have to get out and go around. We're right by a small cut here and we're fishing for trash fish. Oh, trash fish. Oh, that big of a trash fish. Digging like a jack. I haven't seen him yet. Hey guys, this is turning out to be a great trip. Guess what we got here? Sea robin. Look at that nasty looking joker. Get him over here in the light. He's spiky. Yeah, he's spiking me now. See those spikes? We'll get him off the hook and we'll show him a little closer to him. Well, a closer picture of him. Look at those wings. That's what they call him, sea robin. Look at those wings. Wow. Okay, I was hoping we'd catch one of these guys. He is freaking weird. But he's got these wings and then these feet, almost like a freaking shrimp or a crab. <laughs> Look at that. Is that weird looking or what? So, I've always, oh, oh. The noise he makes almost sounds like a freaking bird too. Look at those spikes on the back of his gills. All right, he's definitely going back to the studios and we're gonna see what this one tastes like so now that we got this sucker to the house we can check him out more closely he is one ugly fish check those wings out I didn't notice this in the feet but the bottom of his wings have a white stripe down the back just like that and this is what is this little crawler leggies? I'm trying to get those out. You can see them. Are actually part of that same wing fin. Alright. And then these bottom fins here turn upward and they're very stiff. He's got a big bony plate right here, it feels like. The rest of them feels uh, pretty much normal fishy. So how are we gonna clean them though? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try to fillet them if I can figure out where all these horny bones and spikes start and stop and it feels like right about there. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut it, cut him right there a little bit. And I'm gonna attempt to just very carefully come right up there and remove his fillet. I want to get down in here and find the rib cage right there. Follow that down and take off his little fillet. And then we'll do, I don't really want to get into the guts of this guy. Um, I know that uh, puffers in the Indian River um, 
we did catch this in the Indian River. I know some of the puffers uh, have had some issues. They close the season for them, so you can't keep the uh, puffers. So we're going to kind of treat this guy. Not that there's any restrictions on on this particular fish, but just knowing he lives kind of down there on the bottom with the puffers. Um, we're going to sit, take the same precaution that we would take with puffer fish, which is try to stay out of the guts. Or do stay out of the guts, not try, do stay out of the guts. There you go, one filleted sea robin. All right, guys, let's cook up some sea robin. All right, here's our sea robin fillets. All we're gonna do is give them a little, just a little shake of uh, Seminole Swamp seasoning, our favorite seasoning. Okay, and over here we got some sliced garlic and some butter. So we're going to go uh, charcoal fire today, since it's just a small amount of fish, grab my tongs, get our fire arranged here, about half of those maybe, a little more than half of them, we'll spread them out, a nice even layer, because right here we have our 1700s uh, cast iron spider skillet. So we're going to go ahead and get that ready. I'll put a few of these around. I'm going to go ahead and get that guy warmed up. A little preheat on him. There we go. I love cooking in this pan. Okay, so our pan's had time to preheat. We're going to go in there with three pats of butter. And we want to brown that butter a little bit. And this is one large clove of garlic, garlic sliced. It's just going to flavor our oil a little bit. Okay, our butter, butter is melted. It's starting to brown. Garlic starting to brown. We're going to push that off the edges. We come right in with our very delicate fillets. Right in the middle. Time to plate up our dish backwards gourmet style. In the middle we got some fresh made coleslaw. It's uh, my own special recipe. I'm gonna take some of those garlic slices that we uh, just did in the uh, the pan there. That one don't looks a little overdone, so we'll take them off. Just a little bit of those guys. Sea robin fillets, right there. And over here, and over here. A bit of our fried okra right from the garden. Finishing touch. A few chopped bell peppers. There you go. 
That is Sea Robin Backwoods Gourmet Style. All right, guys, I know this is what you're all waiting for, taste test. Let's go in right on there. This is a beautiful white flaky, like flaky fish. I tell you what, that's amazing. Um, I, I'm gonna have some more. It, it, that is really good. You know, not a lot of meat on them. You know, catch a couple bigger ones. Or a uh, bunch of them. Just because they're ugly, don't mean they're bad to eat. Well, let's go for some okra. Great. A little bit of that fried uh, garlic. Wonderful. So, answer the question, trash fish or treasure? Absolutely treasure. the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, subscribe right here. If you want to see our last video, check out right up there. We'll see you next time.